Welcome back to the channel, you guys. It's lovely seeing your beautiful shining faces. So, my last pour was Cerulean Blue, Fluorescent Pink, Magenta, we had a Titanium White, and an Onyx Black. Mixed two to three parts, Artist Lost, pour a medium to one part paint. And there is one to two drops of OGX Coconut Milk Hair Serum in each one of those. If I say silicone, that's what I mean. Um, we just did a pour with these colors. We did an open cup, it was glorious actually, it was beautiful. So, I have all these cups with paint still left over, which is probably more than enough for this. Oh no, goodness. Okay, well I made a little spill, no big deal. All right, but the colors were so beautiful together, so we're gonna do a flip cup with the remaining colors. All right, so I wanna start with just a small amount of this white. That's unfortunate, I spilled the white over there. Really glad I had that puppy pad though. If I didn't, that would have been a nightmare. All right, so we got the cerulean blue underneath the magenta and then layering this fluorescent pink over the magenta because it creates that contrast between the two colors. The really bright, really dark, I love it. Small amount of black going right into the white, you guys. The white's a heavier color, so I'm trying to make sure it doesn't churn, but I shouldn't be pouring into the middle of the cup then. Like the best way to get it so it wouldn't churn is I'll just pour it down the side of the cup like that. The only thing is, if I continue pouring colors over that, the colors are gonna slightly start to mix. Because you're pouring one color over the other color, over the other color, and so on and so forth. All right, a little bit of black. I recently got an airbrush, you guys, and I'm terrible with it. But it is so much fun. I'm bad with it, but I enjoy being terrible at it, if that even makes any sense. I don't know, it's fun to just try new things part of what drew me to this form of expression and then how I've kind of evolved from that point. But yeah, no, I absolutely like the airbrush. It's really cool. I just need to learn how to use it properly. So now we're not letting the colors churn through each other now. There's not much of this magenta left, so I am gonna, we're reaching the end here. I'm gonna scrape all the magenta out that I can. And then we're gonna layer the pink over top of it again because it's just a beautiful color combination. Absolutely stunning. Let's get it all out. Let's not waste any of this beautiful color. Then we got maybe a little spot of black. I haven't layered black in a couple iterations. Just a little, not a lot. Layer some white over that black. And then with the remaining cerulean blue, I feel like we're gonna have, this composition's gonna be mostly blue because I had the most of this left going into it. All right, now, well, might as well use the rest of this white. I'm just gonna let it punch through and sink, push through those layers. Alrighty. And we're gonna probably have a messy flop, which is all right. <laughs> the sound effects are, you have to do the sound effects. It's kind of like, it's, it's science, so. All right, so we'll use the white that I didn't lose. Hopefully give it some surface to glide on it. It's not gonna give it a whole lot. But yeah, this is gonna be cool. I wonder if I have enough paint in there where I could punch a hole in the top of, or the bottom of that cup 
and get it to kind of leak out a little bit. Let's see. That's from me pushing to pop that hole in there. So, no, I don't think there's, well, it is doing it a little bit, but then it's gonna turn into more of an open cup. So let's just flip it. Ooh. Well, that's pretty. And then I'm going to lip through it. Kind of really disturb that, those color patterns. And then we are going to make cells or heat up the silicone slash try to pop some bubbles. There's lots of bubbles. I'm going to have to go to the torch and then we're going to have that very crazy uncontrollable reaction, which is all right. Yeah, some of these bubbles, they're just being, they're being difficult and that's okay. Cause they're going, they're going to go. Let's see. Yeah. See like the, the torch does that. And you see what I mean? Hard to control. Very difficult. That might not even be a bubble. Maybe I'm mistaken and that is a glob of paint. So. No, it's a bubble. It's just got a thick layer of that blue over top of it. I'm gonna let it be. So I think it really wants to be there. So we're just gonna let it, let it do its thing. All right. Yeah, we got a lot of nice color variants going on through this, this little pour here. All right, so then we're just gonna spin it. Just a nice gentle spin. Like always, you don't have to go like super hardcore with it. Wow. Okay, I like this a lot. There's still a whole lot of paint on this surface though. So I feel like I might have to spin it again. Maybe a little bit more force this time, but man, yeah. There's so much paint on the surface, you guys, that it would probably crack if I would have left that on there the way it was. And actually the way it opened up, I like that even better than the way it used to be. So we're gonna see if we can get any more cells. I'm very happy with the way this already came out. It has a very space almost nebula kind of look to it. Maybe if I had replaced that cerulean blue with like a dioxazine purple, we'd get more of that kind of a look. But man, yeah, I like this one. You can see where I dragged the lip of the cup through and it created those really solid lines there. That's really cool. Let's see if I can coax anything to come out there. Okay, well, just a little, that little bit of heat. All right, well, actually guys, this looks really good. I'm happy with it. Let me bring you guys down. Yeah, there's a whole lot of really cool effects going on in here. We have a lot of gradients, a lot of mixing of the colors. You can kind of see where that white was churning through the black over here, where you're getting that gray, those gray scales. But yeah, the flip and lip was pretty cool. I think that's the second flip and lip I've ever done. But I, I don't know. I really like the effect of it. It actually brings this thing to life. Flip and lip is actually a pretty interesting way to offer additional contrast into your work and create like a dynamic little layer of colors that flow in a direction of your choosing, which is actually really cool.
If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.